she has coached some of Australia's best Olympic sprinters, but Jackie Burns has been in a race of her own against skin cancer. She wants her battle to be a wake-up call for all of us, and she's getting support from the track stars she's trained. It's a horrible thing. I mean, I just lost count of the number of operations I had. I love her dearly, and it's been really difficult seeing her having to suffer over the years. She does have scars. She's wearing her wounds from the skin cancers, including melanomas that she's had over the years, and she's now prepared to share that whole hard journey that she's been through. It's about raising awareness and starting life-saving conversations about skin health. Jackie Burns has coached some of our country's best Olympians, but now she's in a race she never wanted to be a part of against skin cancer and melanoma. It started when I was 35 that I had a, a skin cancer removed from my hand. And I'm, as you can see, I'm very fair skin. And, but it wasn't too bad, having things burned off at that stage. From then on, it just got more and more and more, legs, arms, back, and when I moved up to Queensland in 2003, it escalated even further and I started to have a lot of surgeries on my face. The one mole that looked fine on inspection turned out to be the most serious melanoma she's ever had. Well, Henny then just decided, said, Jackie, we might take this mole. It doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it, but I don't like them. So he took quite a slice out of my ear. But two days later, he rang me and said, Jackie, I've got really bad news. You've got a level five melanoma, and that's really, really serious. They come in all shapes and sizes, and if you don't get on them early enough, you can, it can be the end of your life because they attack the rest of your body. So I just feel incredible, incredibly lucky that I'm still here, yeah. Olympians Melinda Gainsford-Taylor and Jana Pittman are relieved their beloved former coach is still here too. There's a lot of times where I've been you know, really worried about her and, um, and knowing what she's going through, especially when she's had the surgeries and you know, the radiotherapy. And, um, but you know what I just find amazing about Jackie is just how brave she is and how tough she is. And that's what she was like as a coach. She had such an influence on resilience and, and the character building of what I would become as an athlete. So I have, I have so much love and respect for that, for that woman. And, and actually to watch her going through this cancer battle, it's, uh, you know, no one should have to go through that in, you know, in life. As athletes and coach, they spent long days outdoors on the track after 77-year-old Jackie had already grown up under the Aussie sun in an era before sunscreen. I do remember us travelling around the world and um, and she was always diligent with it. Yeah. And making us do it. Yeah, making us do it as well. You know, she'd be one with a hat and she, and she goes, oh, this skin, I tell you what, we've got to make sure that we cover this. Like, yeah. and, and she instilled that in us as well. Mel and I would go and sit in the shade because she's like, you've done your hard running, you two. Off you go into, into the shade and wait for the next training rep. Whereas Jackie would stand out there with all the other athletes because we had a quite a, you know, a big squad and, and be supporting juniors from you know, grassroots right through to the elite that we were. So she spent every hour, every day. I should have been a minor <laughs> being out in the weather all the time. I was in the army for five years and we had a beret that came across here and out in a parade ground for hours at a time. I mean, it all took its toll on me. So it was my own worst enemy. I mean, there's no doubt about that. But I, you know, I learned the lesson well and I hope that this might get some other people to think about how they live, what they do, and be very, very careful about their skin. In a role reversal, Yana, who is now a doctor, and Mel, who is now also a coach, are Jackie's support crew for this fight. Sharing her story as part of the Game on Mole campaign, an initiative of Melanoma Institute Australia to encourage conversations about sun safety. Game on Mole. <laughs> You Isn't it good? Isn't it clever? I love it. Isn't I think it's great very clever. slogan. It's very great, Aussie. It's very Aussie. <laughs> well, I'm a walking freckle, so I'm sure it's only time because look, look at this. So it might look at my skin type is definitely prone to it, but I so far haven't had anything. I've, I do get checked annually as well, and that will escalate because of Jackie's story. I will definitely start that journey more frequently as I get older. Get Professor Richard Scolia from Melanoma Institute Australia. It uses that Australian slang catch cry game on mole but it's using that for a positive message we want to get the message out to all australians to check their own skin look for changes and if they see any changes to seek medical attention we have some 
disturbing statistics that suggest that because of the pandemic, Australians are deferring seeking medical attention because of skin changes. Australia has the highest rates of melanoma in the world. And doctors say the key to survival is early detection. So if you've been slack, book in for a skin check today. That looks great, Hannah. Great, too easy. Most patients whose melanoma is detected early and treated appropriately will be cured of their disease. But once it spreads, then all bets are off. So instead, Yana, Mel and Jackie are spreading the message about keeping an eye on your skin. Game on, Mel. <laughs> you got me on that one. <laughs> I think it's as well getting your family to check. You know, a lot of things True. you can't see on your back. And it's not hard, is it? You just go, you get your moles checked and you that's leave. Right. Zach's not like a pap smear. <laughs> no, that's exactly right. <laughs> it's a pretty easy comparison. A bit like a vac vaccination. Don't put it off. Go and have it and have it regularly, at least every six months.